what is up you guys welcome back to my channel authentically na if you are new here i am natalie not for short i am latina a law student and a beauty and lifestyle content creator here on youtube and today's video as you could kind of get a feel for um what it was in the first beginning clips is a uh, what i eat in a day as a law student i just want to um preface that today is saturday so kind of like what i had time to do today is not what i have time to do during the week but since it is the weekend i kind of wanted to show y'all how i treat myself after a long week um i will be making a video of what i eat in a day during the week um but i'm just you know School is really hectic right now, so I don't have time to do that right now. But yeah, this is kind of like the weekend version. Um, you can treat yourself and give yourself time to rest and relax and reload during the weekends. Um, sometimes for some people, it's really not possible and I completely understand that. But I think putting in a little bit of like effort and sacrifice a little bit to like give yourself rest even though you know you have things to do, I think giving yourself rest um, and nurturing your body and taking care of your body will give you just more um, energy to get what you need to get done in a more efficient manner. So yeah, so as you guys just saw, um, I am eating breakfast right now. If you peep the clock, <laughs> it's not the morning time. But oh well, this is my first meal of the day. So I'm gonna make breakfast because I woke up a little late and that's okay because I needed the sleep. My body needed the sleep. So yeah, um, as y'all saw for breakfast, I am having, um, well, let me just show you. So as you can see, I definitely have taken a, a start to um, eating, but yeah, right here I have my blueberry waffles and I put uh, raspberries on top, or uh, blackberries on top, I mean. And then the white cream spread that you see is cream cheese. And then I drizzle honey over it. I always love my waffles like that. Um, but I always do it in different ways just to switch it up. But that's how I'm doing it today. Um, and then these are the chicken sausages that I made. They are from Trader Joe's. And then just a sunny side up. Um, and then here is just my coffee in my cute little you are sweet mug um, So yeah, today's coffee is just um, Coffee from the mocha pot with milk uh, white mocha creamer and some Whipped cream on top. So yeah, super yummy so Basically, I'm gonna finish eating this up and then I got some chores to do so yeah I will catch up with you guys later
Okay, what is up you guys? Um, so as you can see, I've been doing a little bit of chores. So I just cleaned my kitchen. That was an absolute mess because um, let me tell you, like during the week, like I try to maintain my living space clean, but because I don't eat out a lot, like I end up racking up a lot of dishes. So I try to like maintain it, but there are some weeks that realistically I just can't maintain it because there's just a lot going on. So yeah, I was just kind of cleaning, uh, washing dishes, doing the whole nine. Um, because honestly, like there are certain points where it just relaxes me. Um, just to have like a clean space that smells like fresh and like that freshly cl after clean smell. Um, so yeah, so it is a little bit later. Um, and before I was cleaning, I was uh, editing a YouTube video that is actually coming up, coming out tomorrow. Um, and it will be up before this video is up. So yeah, there is a lot of new content coming up on my channel. So I need y'all to stay tuned, okay? And as of right now, we have reached a hundred subbies. So I am so excited. Maybe by the time this video goes out, it could be a little bit more. So um, yeah, that's really, really exciting. I, I, I know to some people it may seem small, but to me, that's just like a, um, I don't know, all kind of accomplishment. So thank you guys for the ones who subscribe and watch my videos. I appreciate it so much. So without further ado, um, your girl is hungry, okay? So I have been a little bit busy today, so I really don't feel like whipping up like a whole chef out meal. So I'm gonna do kind of like a, like a, a burrito or like wrap type of meal. Um, and I don't just have these things laying around in my refrigerator. Something that I want to emphasize in my what and I eat in a day, um, is that I heavily plan out my meals beforehand. So like I knew going into the grocery store, I was going to have this meal this week. Um, and I knew I was going to want to make a meal that I didn't have to like whip up like you know, raw meat and like cook it and whatever. Like I bought some like rotisserie shredded chicken type thing. Um, and that's what I'm about to make right now. Um, so yeah, that's a little like trick that I use because again, like I said, I really don't like to eat out. Um, number one, because I'm on a budget and number two, honestly, I think even when I uh, like have a full-time job and like money is not no longer like as tight um i don't i want to continue this routine of not eating out as much just because it helps my body feel more energized and my body feel better i think when i eat out too much my body starts to feel like lethargic slowing down and could honestly be anything like it just starts to feel heavy and i really don't like that feeling so um that's why i plan out my meals beforehand and i try to make most of them um not that hard to make and most of them ones that i really like to eat um i don't count calories or anything like that because um that's just not what works for me i just eat what feels good for my body and i eat when i'm hungry and um yeah i eat to the point where i am satisfied not like completely full or not like you know still hungry but definitely just the right like point of satisfaction so yeah um let's get started on this meal okay so these are the ingredients that i'm going to be using so here we just have our whole wheat flour tortillas these are all products from trader joe's products uh food from trader joe's um and then i have an avocado romaine lettuce the rotisserie chicken i said that i bought was pre-made some tomatoes these are um I forget what kinds those are, but I like those. And then I'm trying this out for the first time, buffalo style chicken dip. It has white chicken meat with cream cheese, sour cream, cayenne pepper, and shredded Monterey. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that, jack cheese. Um, and so yeah, um, yeah, we're just gonna dress the elephant in the room. I just had to like wash all my dishes so I didn't have a big plate. So I'm using one of these smaller plates. It's gonna, it's gonna have to work because I just don't have any other plates so 
keep it kind of to yourself. So first thing I'm going to do is cut this avocado and spread it on here. By the way, this is a recipe that I got from an Instagram creator um, that posts like recipes, easy recipes to do um, on their channel. So I will link their information down below and I will also insert their information here. I forget their name uh, right at this moment. But yeah, that life hack Instagram pages with like... Um, like all the like food recipes or whatever like the one minute reels that they do literally is where i get all my ideas from because i'm not a creative person in the in the kitchen at all i get all my ideas from these recipes and from these different pages so i highly suggest you follow them and you use that save button so yeah i'm just gonna cut this avocado in half and then Kind of brown, but okay. It's not matter. Okay, now we're gonna spread the avocado. Second thing we're gonna do is cut this tomato. Um, I'm just gonna cut a couple of slices. That's enough slices. <laughs> it's from a. I know it's originally from TikTok, but I saw it on Instagram Reels. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna just put two slices here. Ooh, that's three. Okay. So then, open this bad boy up. And I'm just gonna put some of the slices on the burrito. Not burrito, this is more like a wrap chicken wrap and then I'm gonna open up the buffalo chicken and okay. so we're just gonna put some on top right here like so excited it looks good but I am the queen like I said I'm the queen like I said of overpacking my wraps tacos burritos all of that so yeah so I'm just gonna put everything but the baked bowl seasoning just on top um, just to add a little bit of a different flavor oh my gosh I'm scared <laughs> okay. okay. It's gonna work. And then we're gonna cut it in half. Ooh. The person in the Instagram video made this much more aesthetic. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I went ahead and just um prepped some of the other uh food that was left over for the rest of the week. And this is pretty much how I um, make a meal that can last me several, several days. Um, so I just shredded up the already cooked rotisserie chicken. I cut the rest of the tomatoes, put them in these both containers. So for the rest of the week, I'll just grab these two containers from the fridge, the wheat tortillas, some chicken buffalo dip, uh, the leftover avocados that I have, I have one in the refrigerator, and just make this really quick and easy meal. So let's actually do a taste test. All right, you guys, moment of truth. Okay, so the buffalo chicken dip is giving. It's giving deli style type wrap. I mean, I mean the avocado, the tomato flavor, um, the rotisserie chicken with that. It, it didn't have the skin on it. It didn't have any seasoning or anything. So it, you could really taste the flavors of the buffalo chicken dip. And the everything but the bagel seasoning just puts a hint of like, something extra like a hint of I don't know like pepper type thing and um so I am tasting something like mildly mildly spicy 
but it's and i have like no tolerance for spice but this actually like it, it adds to the flavor so i'm gonna give this i'm gonna give this a 7.5 out of 10 just because it's such an easy thing to do so it's not like this took me literally 10 minutes um but it's so good maybe like an 8 out of 10 this is good okay you guys so i am just getting cozied up with my burrito slash wrap um i poured myself some um like iced tea slash lemonade from trader joe's it is so so good and i got my laptop here and i'm just gonna relax watch some uh tv and yeah so i will see you guys for the next meal okay guys so i actually um am back in the kitchen um just to grab a quick snack um i just have a little bit of a sweet tooth after i eat um a meal usually later in the day so i am trying out a new um like snack that i got from trader joe's i love trying out their new snacks and seeing which ones i like end up just loving so much that they become a staple um so i'm trying out these for the first time so they are called these sprinkles walk into a sandwich cookie it's a long name but they look good because they're butter cookies filled with buttercream frosting and sprinkles oh my gosh like they're giving like birthday cake type vibes and i love anything like birthday cake flavor type thing so uh, let's just open these bad boys up oh these look good <laughs> these look good mm, they smell good too okay so let me stop hyping them up and let's taste them mm. Oh yeah. I will definitely be repurchasing these. These give like just such a, I don't know how to say it. It's like a full flavor. Like it's like this vanilla sugar cookie type like fresh out the oven type thing like i'm not even kidding you and the buttercream is like not too um like overwhelming because i really don't like like too much of creamy things but this gives a nice like little crunch like the cookies do and then the inside filling <gasps> oh yeah the, run do not walk and go grab yourself one of these because these is good um so it is now the next day um i didn't end up eating a third meal yesterday because i ate the last meal i showed y'all kind of later in the day and so like 8 p.m and so um i honestly just wasn't very hungry and i think a part of like this video is to kind of discuss like um some of the eating habits that have been working for me and something that works for me is listening to my body and so when i'm not really that hungry i won't eat as much and there are some days i'm hungrier than others so i'll eat a little bit more so it kind of fluctuates it just depends um i was going to show you uh the third meal today because kind of the way i meal prep is um so i will have like a quick breakfast ready to go um and for like busy school mornings and then for like lunch and dinner i will have like two separate meals prepared 
that can last me for a couple of days of the week. So like that wrap that I showed y'all yesterday is gonna last me or could last me like several days. And that would be like my lunch for the week. And then my dinner for the week would be a separate meal that I would cook in bulk and last for several days as well. So I have like breakfast, lunch, and dinner prepared for the week. Um, and I mean, switching up lunch and dinner like definitely helps with uh, just not getting tired of what I'm eating. Um, but today I am not gonna make the third meal because um, something unexpected happened actually uh, that is uh, personal and um, I actually have to unexpectedly travel tomorrow um, and we'll be traveling for the rest of the week. Uh, so I will not be home for the rest of the week. So um, I'm just not going to make food that's, you know, I don't want it to go to waste. Um, so yeah, I would have definitely loved to show you guys like um, another meal. But I will just make another what I eat in a day video uh, in the weeks to come. So yeah, thank you guys so much for staying to the end of this video. Uh, I do apologize it got cut short, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and got some ideas out of it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Please subscribe if you like my channel and want to see more of this content, like lifestyle, organization type. Um, footage um so yeah see you guys in my next video bye